The Pacific Island nations are currently facing a growing nuclear threat. The nations of the Pacific Islands have, for a significant number of decades, been dealing with the environmental and health repercussions of nuclear testing that was conducted in the region during the time of the Cold War by countries such as the United States and France. These tests were conducted by countries such as the United States and France. Now, they are worried about a different kind of nuclear threat, one that is posed by neighbors who live much closer to their homes. This particular threat comes from nuclear weapons. Notably, in the area, Philippine President Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos announced in his first address to Congress in the middle of 2022 that he was open to the idea of adding nuclear energy to the energy mix of the country. This was an important development. In addition, the government of Indonesia stated in December that it intends to construct a nuclear power plant by the year 2039, and Japan stated a few weeks later that it intends to increase its utilization of nuclear energy. Both of these announcements were made in December. Concerning the data, there are both issues and differences of opinion. Robert H. Richmond, a research professor at the University of Hawaii at Manoa and the director of the Kuala Marine Laboratory, who is also one of the experts on the panel, claims that the critical, foundational data upon which a sound decision could be made was either absent or when we started getting more data, he says, extremely concerning. Richmond is one of the panel's participants. That is what Richmond was reported to have said in time. They had a difficult past, but now with a new beginning in front of them. In 2021, Rafael Mariano Grossi, the Director General of the International Atomic Energy Agency IAEA, stated that Japan's plan is by practice globally, even though the significant volume of water at the Fukushima plant makes it a unique and challenging scenario. Grossi was referring to the fact that Japan's plan is by practice globally. The United States of America conducted a total of 67 nuclear tests in the Marshall Islands between 1946 and 1957. At the same time, they were storing the radioactive and nuclear waste at Runnet Dome, which is the same location where it is located to this day. There is currently concern that the dome is leaking, and there is also concern that the dome's structural integrity could be endangered if seed levels continue to rise. The panel of PEEF experts has proposed several different alternatives as possible solutions, such as treating the water and storing it in tanks that are more secure to give the tritium time to degrade, or using the treated water to make concrete that will be used in projects that won't have high contact with humans. These are just two examples of the many potential solutions that have been proposed by the panel.